Hello there guys, it's me, Wisely, and welcome to a new episode of Vengeance High Class Build together with my main character. And yes, this is uh, an, an, an experiment version of my auto-attack build because the auto-attack build seems to be uh, weakened because of uh, obnoxious um, damage buff or damage buff uh, with apostrophes or yeah um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't give that much of a uh, damage because of obnoxious and unnecessary critical debuffs anyways uh, together with also uh, the HP against Kaldiness so that's why on the last two videos, I only showed you the Taldinas experiment. So that's only an experiment build. But anyways, if you want to dodge only the Taldinas, especially the HP and damage buff, you can play this character. But not against Taldinas. So here we go with this build. We have an auto attack build with a debuff against monsters. But to be honest with you, this is not actually uh, uh, enough against Salinas. Uh, I talked uh, talk to uh, the, developer, the, vet, the developers about it, and he seems like uh, if, if this build. Uh, doesn't work anymore why don't you just change it and yeah uh, change the build so yeah it's be it's basically uh, a meta if you if I want to have an effective build I should follow the meta so yeah uh, here we go with my build if you want to you can use this build not against Taldinas just a reminder so I'm gonna show you the build anyway. So we have on an item, uh, we have Shadow Step Hood, still the same with 18% black chance. Uh, chest piece from Source of Tournament with 3% black chance and 2.4% dodge chance. Um, a belt from Source of Tournament with 9% black chance. Healer Cloth Pants with 2.4% dodge chance and walkers with 12% uh, black chance nobleman's ring um, with 6% black chance ring of omnipotent with 4.8% uh, dodge chance and 24% uh, attack speed deep sign with 24% attack speed ferocious rune of legion with 48% attack speed a shoulder pads from Source of Tournament with 36% attack speed. Letten Venom Wrist with 24% attack speed. Healing Touch with 24% attack speed. Absorber with 4.8% dodge chance. And last but not the least, the main weapon, Eleven Sword with 36% attack speed. Keep in mind, on the skill, we have a 3 active skill tree. On the other hand, we have uh, meditation from uh, bonus skill from uh, from healer cloth pants and uh, healing touch. Of course, we have a vitality two points on the vitality, which leads to a uh, one point only on the black chance passive. Of course, we have uh, three percent three points on vitality, three points on vitality, which goes to one point of vitality two. 3 points of vitality to our first buff, Spirit of Beast, 25 points. Of course, we have the last vitality buff which leads to uh, 3 points of uh, black chance and 5 points of black damage and a unique passive reliable shield. Of course, we have a zeal, a second buff and a unique passive fanaticism. Of course, we have a far skill damage and uh, far damage 3 points only. I'm gonna tell you that later because of our new experiment. And uh, 
unique passive strength of mind so we are now move on to a uh, rogue skill tree we have a uh, critical passive critical chance or critical damage passive 5 points and the uh, movement speed uh, dexterity 5 points the another dexterity 4 points 4 points which leads to a trick a third buff 25 points of course we have a dexterity 5 points which leads to a poison damage buff 5 points yeah uh, 5 points no. hmm, 15 points rather of course we have a critical damage buff 2 points only and the last buff 25 points on agreement of shadows of course we have a new uh, skill tree a wizard skill tree we have a passive spirit a uh, two points of elemental resistance at uh, two points of spirit passive and i don't know why i put okay and uh passive vitality passive as well and a skill that uh reduces the poison resistance uh ice resistance and physical resistance on a monster which uh that has a 33.8 percent so we have weakness mm, so yeah that's pretty much it that's why i don't have a lightning uh, damage and a uh, far a uh, little bit of far damage only by the way i put the far damage just to get a unique passive the strength of mind so we're now move on to our uh, stats uh such section we have uh, 20, 125 points of vitality 125 points of energy attack speed 25 points and that uh, chance 25 points critical chance 25 points critical damage 25 points black chance 25 points and black damage 25 points i'm gonna buff this one first and we're now move on to our uh main stats and of course we have our destiny 23 Point, uh, 2368 points on a destiny death of course we have uh, 1222 uh, base damage 22519 HP 4459 MP 38.6 armor and 41% magic resistance I'm gonna show you on the screen the comparison between the death and the abyss of course the pure damage that provides uh, uh that provide on a uh, beast destiny of course we have dodge chance of 105.4 attack speed 527 percent uh critical chance 107 100.7 percent uh critical damage 374 percent that's the sacrifice just to get the weakness uh skill 25 25 points of weakness of course um black chance 120 percent black damage 80 percent movement speed 206.2 hard damage 120 to 150 ice damage 870 to 993 Nine, lightning damage 17 to 1750 poison damage 2010 to 2328 and yeah that's pretty much it and that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. New shield on the next video. So make sure to su subscribe. Ideas and suggestions. Let me know in the comments. And we'll see you guys on the next video. And have a good day.